The 13th annual Dick Vitale Gala for Cancer Research is happening tonight. SNN's Lyndon Blake joins us now live with the man himself. Thank you so much, Nicole. I am here with the man, Mr. Dick Vitale. I know this is your favorite night of the year. We have all the kids hanging out, a lot of the guests are starting to walk in. But for those that are watching this at home, can you take us through what all happens tonight behind those doors? Well, you know, tonight, first of all, we will talk a little bit about the courage that these kids have displayed. I mean, we got youngsters there, 1,200 doses of chemotherapy, four bone marrow transplants, smiling, Joshua Fisher. I could talk about taking. Adam Parker, two-time cancer battler who goes out and puts together toys for kids every time they go to the hospital. She has the Tatum's bag of fun. I mean, it's just beautiful what these kids do. Kyle Peters and all the features you did on the Jari Jackson. Uh, these kids want to help other people after going through such battles. So tonight we'll do that. And then obviously we'll talk. I'm going to talk in there tonight about how the room is filled with greatness and love. You can feel when the night starts the love that's in that room. And you know, Lyndon, we don't have enough love in our world. We have too much hate. There's too much out there. People go to concerts, they go to movies, they go to church, and lives are being taken. This room is going to be filled with love, and we need more love in our world. And I was talking to Weston Herman's dad last week doing those features, and he said he's never met anyone in the world with the raw emotion for anything the way you have the emotion and the passion for finding a cure for pediatric cancer. So what keeps you going? Well, you know, first of all, as I told them at the press conference today, I remember in June I went to visit Tony Colton up at All Children's Hospital. And when I went in that room and to see him wired up with all these tubes, shooting morphine to kill his pain, it just tore my heart out. And I said to Tony on that day, I said, Tony, I promise you, I promise you to my last breath, I will plead and I will beg for dollars. We need dollars to help these kids. People don't understand that. They really don't. It's unbelievable the number of kids. As you and I are talking today, seven moms and dads put on clothing and went to a funeral. Seven today. 16,000 people this year, families are going to hear the words, your child has cancer. We got to end that. And the only way we can end it is with dollars. So if anybody would like to donate and be part of our team, just go to dickvitalgala.org. Dickvitalgala.org. Thank you so much, Dick. Nicole, we'll send it back to you.